let's look at an application of magnetic fields in the form of an electric motor. The principle behind its operation is that a current carrying wire experiences a force due to a magnetic field. For example, we can create a magnetic field using two permanent magnets. A current carrying wire in the form of a loop is placed within the magnetic field. A force is produced on the wire perpendicular to the wire and the magnetic field. Here, the force is directed upward on one side of the loop while the force is directed downward on the other side. This generates a torque to spin the loop. Notice that there are also lengths of wire at the sides of the loop that produce forces in direct opposition to each other, which don't contribute any torque to the motor rotation. In reality, there is also a commutator on the motor, which is a component that reverses the direction of the current for each half revolution to ensure that the magnetic forces are always pointed in the proper direction to ensure that there is a steady rotation. Typically, a motor would not have one loop, but many loops in the form of a coil to improve the torque. The torque of the motor is proportional to the current in the wire, the area enclosed by the coil, the strength of the magnetic field, and the number of loops in the coil.